In the criminal justice system, stupid criminals doing stupid shit are considered to be a giant pain in the ass. In the city of Los Santos, the dedicated officers who deal with these dumbasses are members of an elite squad known as the Stupid Criminals Unit. These are their stories. Hello everyone and welcome back to LSPDFR. Today we're going to be out here in this 2011 Ford Crown Victoria Police Interceptor, whatever you want to call it. Uh, here in the Elburio Heights area. This is an area that I don't see patrolled very often. Uh, we might venture into the like industrial rancho area and maybe the docks if we need to. So hopefully we stay in this general area. As for the lighting setup on the car, we have stage one, which is just a traffic advisor in the rear. Stage two is just red and blues up in the top light bar along with the traffic advisor in the rear, which is kind of neat. And then full on stage three, as always, is red and blues up top. It turns off the track of meh, the traffic advisor. It turns on the red and blues in the back window. We get wigwags in the taillights as well as wigwags in the headlights and red and blue on the ram bar. So let's go ahead and get right into it. David 39, you can show us 10 8. That, David, and we will see what we get into. Area. We have an Whoa, Emperor. Don't hit the guardrail. Okay, the Cranvick turning radius. It's actually a lot better than that in real life. For a, as big of a boat as it is, it's actually surprisingly good. Speaking of Cranvick, there's another one. This dude's kind of swerving all over the road too, so let's go ahead and light him up right here. Is he gonna stop? He is stopping and he took out the fence. Lovely. See if we can get that plate. It's gonna be 00 Sam Ocean George 530. David 39, can I get a plate check? Sam, Mary George, sorry. Zero, zero, Sam, Mary, George, five, three, five, a traffic violation. Okay. Approach with caution. Let's go ahead and hop out and have a little chat with them. See what's going on. All right, evening, sir. Officer Boyd, LSPD. Reason for the stop today is you swerved out of your lane and almost hit that baller that was in front of me. So can I get your driver's license, registration, and proof of insurance? Kiflam. Alex Cooper. Thanks. Is your dad, Alice? Probably hear that all the time. Uh, Alice, real quick. Um, you wouldn't happen to be have had anything to drink today, have or did you? Nope. Okay. You were all over the road. That's why I ask. I'm sorry I haven't had much sleep. Okay. I get it. Not that big of a deal. Let's go ahead and do this. Okay. Excellent. Uh, Mr. Cooper, I will be right back with you, okay? If he checks out what we're going to do, because we're not getting any indication that he has been drinking, it's 6 o'clock in the morning here in game. Um, if everything checks out, then we will just let him off with a warning. <sighs> okay. Now, now I get to decide what to do. He's only 18. I mean, it's expired registration. But it's not his car. Whose car is it? This dude's. Who's 21. I don't. All right. What we're going to do, we're going to write him a citation for the, uh, let's see. I got to remember what that's under. Failure to maintain lane. And we will also hit him. We're not, since it's not his vehicle, I don't really feel right. Uh, Hitting him with the expired registration. It's not his car. He probably didn't know his friend didn't, you know, get his uh his registration wrote or fixed. Is it license being expired for almost a year though? On the other hand, 
that's a bit more that I really can't ignore. So what we're going to do, we're going to cite him for expired driver's license greater than 30 days. And we are going to not let him drive that vehicle away. I think that's the best thing that we can do. So that is what we will do. So let's go give him the bad news. Glad the AI back there is behaving. All right, Alex, I hate to do this to you, but you are going to be receiving some citations today. Your license is expired by like 238 days, I think is what the computer said. So you're going to receive a fine for that. You're also going to receive a fine for failure to maintain lanes, okay? Unfortunately, since your driver's license is expired, we are not going to let you uh, drive away in the vehicle, okay? So uh, I'm going to be nice. I'm going to call you an Uber. They'll come and pick you up and take you wherever you need to go. And unfortunately, Ivan's car is going to be towed. Okay. There we go. Now, I'm going to have to do this kind of unlegitly. Oh, wait, never mind. No, I'm not. We're going to have to let ask him to exit the vehicle now. All right, Alex. What I'm going to do, we got to do this. Let's go ahead and get a Uber for him. All right, your Uber should be here shortly. Looks like it's going to be that prairie over there. I think it's what that's called. And you, you're good to go, okay? Just make sure you appear for your court dates on those tickets if you want to fight them. If not, you can just pay them. All right, have a good one. David39, can I get a tow truck down here? Grammar Police is behaving okay. today. Thank Attention God. All right, tow truck is down there. It's going to Houdini it from all the way down there, I'm pretty sure. And we are going to be code four off this. Back available for calls. Hopefully the tow truck figures out how to get up here. He's not going to, is he? Probably not. Oh, oh, oh. I think it didn't spawn. Yeah, there he is. Okay, we're code four. Citizens reporting Ooh. an attempted homicide in uh, Albero Heights. David 39, show us responding code 3. 10 4, copy. David 39. Alright. Attempted assassination. That's. That's not good. They want code 2? We're a mile away. I'm going to go code three for a little bit. And as we get closer, then we'll downgrade. The Crown Vic handling is not the greatest. Don't hit the deer. Garbage truck. Why? So about half a mile away, still kind of booking it. I'm not exactly sure where this even is. It looks like it's going to be in kind of a weird location. Come on, brakes. Crown Vic brakes are better than that in real life. He's going to be up on top of that building, isn't he? I don't want to light up because I don't want to spook him. Is he up in the firefighter training tower? I think he might be. I guess we'll find out, won't we? We're getting... We'll get the shotgun out. I don't know how far up he's going to be. That's clear. I think he's going to be at the very top. 
That's clear. Dude, drop it, motherfucker. Holy shit. Get the handgun out. Oh, fuck. How do I... <laughs> I just fucking one tapped him in the forehead. Come on, get up there. Clear him. Holy shit. Get that big ass sniper rifle away from him. Whew. Holy shit. Who the fuck was he going to assassinate? That's what I want to know. I mean, it's literally industrial area. Oh, who's stealing what? <sighs> Not my problem. See what he had on him. Search the body. I always forget it's the first option. Okay. A sniper rifle? No shit, Sherlock. A hacking device and a digital camera. Jovan Zvrdubudak. Something Russian. So, Russian dude. Um, yeah. I'm not going to be able to call for coroner because he's all the way up here. It almost looks like he was going to James Bond this shit and, like, parachute down after he was finished with his quote-unquote job. So, Yeah. All right, well, we somehow survived that without getting hit. We are going to be code four then. Back available for calls. I'm sorry, that sign says what? Unless that bunny that's going to get sass ran over is a zombie, I don't think that sign is correct. All right, so right now we are going to be responding to 911 reports of a suspect brandishing a weapon and evidently pointing it at people. That cop just about hit us head on they want code 3 so that's what we'll give them I was going to go code 2 but now that I think about it person with a gun that's probably code 3 this feels like deja vu <laughs> Sultan move thank you ooh crown Vic what was that That was weird. Okay. Looks like it's going to be down this roadway. David 39, show me on scene. All right, let's see what's going on here. Evening, ma'am. What's going on? Or good morning, ma'am. Hello, are you the caller? Yes, sir. I just saw someone brandishing a weapon across the street. Uh, when did you see it? I guess about five minutes ago. Okay. We'll try to find him. We'll try to find him, okay? Can you go back in your house? You didn't happen to see which way they were going, did you? Thanks, officer. You're so kind. So that's a no on which way they went? Suspect oh. Okay. Evidently, you did know. You can go ahead and go inside your house, okay? Just in case shit hits the fan. Looks like it's going to be up here. I think this is fudge lane continued across the street here. Ooh, crap. No, this is uh, Amarillo Vista. I'm not seeing them as of right now. 
but they could be over on that roadway. So what we're going to do, oh wait, that's him. All right. Dude, drop it, dude. LSPD, don't make me shoot ya. Dude, drop it. Drop it, dude. Oh, that's a taser. He's got a taser. Dude, drop Hands it. Up, cream pie, right now. Drop it. Oh, motherfucker. Not again. <laughs> oh, you cannot make that shit up. Dude, drop the taser. Hands up in the air. Now. Are you going to drop it or no? Well, fine. How do you like it? <laughs> Get your hands up. Oh, <laughs> You're shitting. Oh, you are shitting. Get your hands up. Blow your head off. Get your hands up. Hands up, dude. Don't fucking do it again. One more? No, you giving up? Jesus Christ. <laughs> that was the shittiest standoff I've ever had in this game. Okay. We are code four. Suspecting Dude. No further units required. What the fuck are you doing, my guy? <laughs> okay. This is a first. I've never had this call out turn into basically a taser war. And that sounds like something very drunk people would do. I'm sure that's been played at some point. Drunk taser games. All right, dude. Who are you? Do you have anything on you that is going to poke me, stick me, stab me in any way? You don't have the right to touch me. Back the fuck off. Well, I hate to tell you this. I do because you taste me three times. So you're, you're in cuffs. I can basically do whatever the fuck I wanted. A pocket knife, and basically that's it. Okay, Lance Davis, or Lace Davis, I should say. Lace, what the fuck are you doing? Oh, it's doing that weird, like... Stop the Ped's been doing that lately. It's like a delay to show the actual, like, card. There it goes, and now I can do it. Lace, what the fuck are you doing? I'm relaxing my soul. That's a very interesting way of relaxing your soul, my friend. Uh, were you on your way anywhere? I'd rather die than fucking answer you, you, you fucker. Lance, you're, or Lace, you're not a very happy man, are ya? Let's go ahead and run his name real quick. Oh, why am I getting in the car? We have a tablet for that reason. He's valid, no warrants. He's only 19. That explains a whole fucking hell of a lot. Um, Lace, by chance, you haven't had anything to drink tonight, have you? I love my life, so no, never. Okay, well, I'd like to prove that, so would you mind blowing into this tube? One continuous blow until I say stop. Keep going, keep going, keep going, and stop. Thank you. Point zero zero. Okay. So he's probably good then. All right, well, let's go ahead and write up his report. He is gonna get a few charges. All right, so we hit him with assault on a law enforcement officer because he tased me again <laughs> and disturbing the peace because he was evidently, you know, causing concerns for the residents of the neighborhood. So Lace, those are your charges. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in the court of law. You have the right to an attorney if you cannot afford one. One will be provided to you by the court system. Do you understand these rights as I've read them to you? Very good. I'm going to go ahead and call prisoner transport for you. Okay. Dispatch, can I get a transport unit? Excellent. Everything is working very well today. What is that? Ooh, is that the Tahoe? I actually haven't seen that one yet. That Tahoe looks nice. I love that classic, just simple, big ass red and blue light bar. And that's what all three car of the police cars I have in. You complete waste of space. 
Okay. Well, I think that's where I'm going to end this episode. We've been going for a little bit now, and I don't want this to turn into a 40-minute episode like Friday's was. So let's go find somewhere to park and go over the court documents. There we go. Okay. Haven't had a slide in a while, so let's go ahead and go over these court documents. Oop. There we go. So we have Alex Cooper. He was the dude that we wrote citations to. He got fined $294. Okay. I'm fine with that. As for Lance David, or Davidson, sorry, or Lace. I guess his name is Lace. I keep saying Lance, my bad. Uh, oop. Two years. That's it? He's granted probation for disturbing the peace in two years for a solo. Okay. $669 in fines. Noise. All right. Well, guys, that is going to do it for this episode. Oop, there we go. Uh, links for the mods, or the cars, and the skin, because this is a different car pack and a different skin, so both of those will be linked in the description below. Um, if you're new here and haven't done so already, consider hitting the subscribe button, and if you do, make sure you hit the bell icon and set that to get all notifications. Uh, links for the Discord is in the d description below as well, always, or as well, if I can speak English. Uh, there's a bot in there to get notified when I upload as well. That seems to be a little bit more reliable than YouTube's notification system. So if you haven't done so, go ahead and join that. Um, oh, if you liked the video, make sure you hit the like button. And with that, I will see you all in the next one. Take care.